the PBA, they will have a reunion for former and present Alaska players on October 1, 2010. Players can get in touch with CK Canapi or Waki Trillo at 840-4500. All right, and Miranda has called for his third foul. An offensive foul call in L.A. Tenorio. That's just wise basketball by Benok Miranda. Actually gave a hard foul before that and was prepared that maybe L.A. was going to retaliate. Give a, retaliate. Wasn't really anything dirty. LA just decided to get as physical to the end of, but then the referees are re were already watching that situation by then. Then of Miranda now, looking for Ontivero, guarded by Carriaso. Daniel DiPoto from the corner. That's short, loose ball ends up with De La Cruz. Alaska can have the last say in this half. And preemptive foul given up there by Don Don Ontiveros. Don Don Ontiveros sacrificing his third foul. Together with Denok Miranda, they already have three personal fouls. Pero sabi nga ni Jason Galina, sa lalim ng bench ng San Miguel, pwede silang humata kung yan doon sa bandang dulo. I think what Coach Schott is just asking is you play 100%, it doesn't matter if it's one minute yes. or 48 minutes. What he wants is 100% effort from all these guys. And uh, San Miguel choosing to foul wisely here as they are not yet in a penalty. So only their fourth team foul. And 1.1 seconds remaining. Alley, you play! And so, it has been an all San Miguel first half here. Establishing a 19-point lead as we go to the halftime break. A lot of things to talk about here for the Alaska Aces. A lot of adjustments on the defense of, defense of uh, San Miguel. In the meantime, let's go over to Dominic with L.A. Tenorio. L.A., not really how you guys wanted to start. 19 points down at the half. Ano ba nangyari? Uh, medyo... Sama eh. Sama nung start namin, especially uh, nung first quarter, yung starting five. Talaga na kahit ano, sobrang aggressive sila. Hindi namin na, na pantayin yung energy nila. And ganito naman in-expect namin game eh. Pero siyempre, yung game namin hindi dapat ganito. Alright, thank you LA. Leah? Alright, thanks Dom. I'm with Jay Washington. Jay Wash with 12 points and 6 rebounds. So after dropping the first two games, what was your mindset coming into this one? Uh, we basically approached this game um, as a do-or-die game. I mean, if we lose this one... There's not too many teams that can come back from 3-0, so uh, that's how we approach it, do or die. Um, but mainly we're just trying to get back to, to how we've been playing all season. Um, last couple games we haven't been doing that. So. All right, and it's a 19-point lead right now. You guys are playing with a lot of energy. What's different tonight? Uh, just that. We came out with a lot of energy. Um, like I said, a do or die game, so there's no other way to play it. I mean, you play with a lot of energy or you go down 3-0, so... Thank you very much. We'll see you in the second half. Now we're going to take a break, but the PBA Game 3 Finals of the 2010 Fiesta Conference will be back. A 19-point lead for the San Miguel Beermen over the Alaska Aces here. In game number three of the PBA Fiesta Conference Finals. Hello once again from the Big Dome, Pope Jason Webb, <laughs> Senor Richard Del Rosario, and Hakuna Matata, Coach Rodney. <laughs> waka 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 waka. All right, Coach Rodney, you know, as expected, San Miguel has come out firing here. Mentality did not do or die game for them here in game number three. Are you surprised Alaska Aces was not able to match that intensity? It's all about defense here for uh, San Miguel. As a result, they have scored already 12 fast break points and 18 turnover points. And for Alaska, they have to do a better job in terms of offensive execution. Simpson only had five touches offensively, 
something that Alaska is not used to. So it's all about defense still for San Miguel in the second half. While for Alaska, they need to drop down to a better half-court execution if they are to come back from this 19-point bubble. All right, let's try to quantify uh, what San Miguel did uh, right here in the first half. Let's go over and review our webpage for the San Miguel Bionet. Well, for San Miguel, Richard, we did talk about things that were needed, and one was get something from the point guard. Maybe in the game so far, still not a lot, but look what they did. Tenoria only had one assist, but the combination of the three guards that were used so far had a total of three. Tenoria only had four points, and Miguel only had the trio, only had two points. So, hindi na, na, hindi na sila malayo sa kalamangan ni L.A. Tenorio. Next, get Simpson off his comfort zone. Diamond Simpson, seven points, and look at that, five turnovers so far. He's seen doubles, he's seen different looks, and that's why that offense has not been that easy for Diamond Simpson. And finally, they had to keep Freeman on the floor, played a total of 20 minutes, was the best player so far on the court today, having 18 points and 13 rebounds. In the meantime, let's go over and go to the Alaska side, and they seem to be confused with the defense being employed by the Beermen in the uh, first half. What went wrong here for the Aces? Yeah, this is a team that likes to dictate the pace. They were unable to do that because it was the defense of San Miguel that dictated what was going to happen in this game. 12 fast break points for San Miguel and two, only two for Alaska. And Ronnie already mentioned the number of turnover points that uh, San Miguel scored. Next up, more assists, less turnovers. Look at the assists. Only five assists so far, triple turnovers with 15 turnovers and La Union, you have to have at least a little more assist and turnovers that is not Alaska type of basketball and finally they have to continue the bench support so far seven points for that bench of Alaska eight for San Miguel but then when we saw the time the period in which El Tenorio Cyrus Baggio was on, on the bench that was the time na kailan bumulusok talaga yung San Miguel, especially in that period when Freeman was in and Simpson was still on that bench. All right, we'll take a quick break, and when we return, we'll give the second half of game number three of the 2010 PBFPS, the conference finals. All right, we begin the second half of action. San Miguel looking to get a first win here in this series. They are down 0-2. to two. Best of seven final series. Ontiveros with a miss. Another rebound for Gabe Freeman. Denok Miranda there to take that outside jumper. And he did. Here's Iris Baggio. Simpson now. Aggressive move towards the basket. Yeah, it, it, that is what's nice when you're watching this series because these two teams really made it all the way to the finals because they found the right import. In Gabe Freeman, San Miguel found a guy that was athletic and had a lot of energy. That's what they needed. Para sa Alaska naman, a composed big man, perfect na perfect si Diamond Simpson. This Arwin Santos, he was hot in the first half and he continues to be hot here. We talk about the perfect compliment to the bounce back day of Gabe Freeman. Arwin Santos continues to shoot long from the outside. Continues to play with a lot of energy. Very consistent. At hindi tayo nagkakamali, parte na rin itong si Arwin Santos ng uh, Mythical 5. Tama. Mythical 5. Yeah. Tama si Jody Vance. So actually, when you look at the, sa San Miguel ngayon, tatlo lang naman talaga yung magandang maganda yung laro. Freeman, Washington, Washington. Santos. Yes. After that, malaki yung dark drop off because Danny Odefonso is the next guy who only has four fights so far in the game. Here's Freeman. Back on Tiveros. Now they go back to Freeman, guarded by Jody Vance. He surveys the defense and takes a shot. You know, Freeman, you know, your energy is more controlled. And another steal here, another turnover. And uh, great start once again here for the Beermen. But I'm talking about Gabe Freeman. You know, hindi lang sa yung parang uh, uncontrolled energy right now. Uh, parang tames lang yun, but the energy is still there. Well, Richard, it's easy to be patient if you're ahead. And right now, San Miguel has done an excellent job playing to its game plan today against Alaska. They've managed to keep this big gap between themselves and Alaska. Efficient defense and a fine outing from Gabe Freeman. And you know, if you're San Miguel, you've got a 22-point lead right now. Yung pressure 
wala na. And uh, when they play teams like Ginebra, and, and I think especially Talking Techs, the old team was saying one of the things that really got to those teams, especially Talking Techs, was they played with a lot yes. of pressure. And right now, San Miguel, in the first two games, after especially that game one loss, nararamdaman mo yung pressure sa kanila na manalo ng game two. Ngayon, nakalamang sila kagad, kaya na wala ng pre yung pressure. It's always easier to play when you are considered as the underdog. Uh, that is exactly what Alaska was able to do in the first two games. But 